Hey guys, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a haul. Big shock. I love to shop and most of this stuff is like home decor type items but there's also some random bits scattered in there. Primarily Target. We have some Ikea, Marshalls, and one random item from Kohl's. So let's actually start there. I saw this little guy. It is a gold little figurine, or that's not the right word for it, but it says the word love in cursive. I thought that was super cute and it reminds me of the little cursive words that they sell at West Elm. And this one was on clearance for $7.50 and I think at West Elm they're like 20 or more. So I, it was kind of a no brainer to me since I already was thinking of getting one at West Elm. Why not get a cheaper version? Next, I'm gonna move to my Ikea purchases, mostly because I don't think they're all that exciting. So let's just do it, get it over with. A plain black frame because these are so cheap and easy to get at Ikea. And I have this really cool poster that I wanted to get framed from when Travis and myself went to a Phoenix Suns versus Portland Trailblazers game. And they had this commemorative poster thing that was actually pretty cool so I figured if we put it in a frame it would look cool in the man cave. Another kind of staple thing I like to stock up on at Ikea are their candles. They're very very affordable and they actually burn pretty well like the scent, the throw, whatever that is goes pretty far in a room so I picked up three. This one and I'm only clearly judging this off the picture because it's in Swedish or whatever but this one is like peach and orange. It's citrusy, it's fresh, perfect for like how we're coming into spring and summer kind of I know we're a little bit early but we're coming into that this one is blackberry so again it's fruity and fresh a little bit less sweet than the other one but it's really good and then this guy is a favorite of mine it's kind of like a buttercream hazelnut vanilla type scent very sweet but kind of warm and cozy it's great for the kitchen these are like two dollars each so I really recommend these and then they also make hi that's awesome I cleaned it up I'm just letting you know it's okay. They also make some of the scents in like slightly larger versions that are a little bit more money, but they're really good. Another thing that I got at Ikea were these matte black, I hope you can see these, these matte black little knobs and these were $5 each. They had three different sizes. This was the, I think the medium size and I got seven of these because I'm going to replace all of our knobs on our kitchen cabinets. We have just kind of like outdated silvery ones and hardware and like light fixtures and things are a really easy way to give a space like a new fresh feel and so after doing some research on Home Depot, Amazon, and Ikea I decided these would be the cheapest, easiest, quickest way to do it so I'm really stoked to transform that look in our kitchen. And then this is not going to do it any justice just because I need to actually put the pillow in the thing but I got two of these. They are like this black and white pillowcase. It's what size? 20 by 20 is the pillow and wait is this even right yeah i think it is let me take this apart so um we have black faux fur pillows on our living room couch and i've been looking for like the perfect accent pillow to put with those and i thought about a few different ones but i kind of wanted something just really simple black and white that would pretty much go with like every season so the front is different than the back and then i got the matching inserts i got two of those that wraps up Ikea. I'm gonna move to Marshalls because I just got a few things there. This first one is random and it was actually for Travis really. So I saw this candle at the checkout. It's called Humidor. I might be saying that wrong. And I was like, wait, I know that word. Why does that word sound familiar? And then as I picked it up to smell it, it dawned on me that a humidor is the thing that you like store cigars in. I think I could be incorrect, but I know that it has something to do with cigars. Travis and his dad and his brothers like love cigars. That's kind of their thing. So it's crushed tobacco leaf, cool cardamom and black pepper. This was like $4 at Marshall's. It's a cool matte black container and it smells really like tobacco-y and good. So he likes that. Then they had a really cute display of storage boxes and I could tell that it was like their spring stuff. Um, they had a few that had different color, like colored patterns on the outside and I really liked them, but I thought these were better for the whole year and just like more timeless. So they're by Kate Spade and they're these little nesting storage boxes. So I got the black and white stripe and then the white and black polka dots. This one says stow away and then the inside is this really pretty green and white. They had a box that was in that green and white but again I wanted the more simple year-round look. And then this one also has a print. Oh that makes me sad. I thought one of them had the pink print on the inside. It doesn't, darn it, oh well, it's not that big of a deal. One of them, some of the boxes were like a pink floral. 
but these both have green on the inside. Oh well, so it's like a medium and then like a smaller one and I can store things decoratively like out on a shelf. I can like shove a bunch of stuff in here, but it'll look pretty on the outside, you know? And these were, this one was 13 and the smaller one was eight. So the other item that I got at Marshall's was this book and it's called Make Yourself at Home, Design Your Space and Discover Your True Self. So first of all, I love coffee table books in general. It has a really pretty spine with like kind of metallic coppery writing. And so putting that on like a shelf would be really cute. But then also the double whammy is that it is a book full of like home decor stuff and like different tips and tricks and just kind of ways to find your style. And I am beyond obsessed with home decor. Like that's all I like to look at on Instagram and Pinterest, etc. So I just thought that was a fun little thing. And this guy was $15. I'm now gonna bring it home with the Target stuff. It's primarily home decor and primarily like Valentine's Day stuff. So that's why this is pretty much a Valentine's Day home decor haul, but there are a few other things in the mix. First being the knockoff Gucci loafers that swept the internet. Um, I remember when Target did first come out with these as these were like really popular. These were sold out, like the Target ones, they're Morona brand. And I thought to myself, like they were sold out, so I wanted them, but I couldn't get them. And then I bookmarked them or favorited them on the Target website, and then they would never come back in stock. And then I saw them in stock and I was like, eh. Anyway, long story short, they are now marked down to like $11. And these are something I can wear to work and you know, sure I'm like a year behind the trend, but I think they're timeless and they're just cute and comfortable. They're kind of like old man grandpa shoes, but they're nice and I can wear them to work. And for $11, you know, it was pretty much a no brainer. The other fashion item that I got were these earrings. These are from the Bobble Bar, like the Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar, which is the Target version. These are these fancy like pom-pom earrings that are super popular. I know Kathleen Barnes from How Carrie Bradshaw, no, Carrie Bradshaw Lied wears these all the time and they're so cute. Now they have like the actual Bobble Bar kind at Nordstrom in a million different colors and they're 50 bucks or something like 48. These were 13 and this is a really crazy like neon yellow like tennis ball color but first of all for spring and summer like that's really fun and also for that price I just think it's more reasonable. I found a black pair which is a pair that I want like I want a black color on Amazon. I think they were like 15 bucks so we'll see. I'm gonna probably give these a whirl and if I think that I can pull them off, then I might order the black. I'm such a stud girl, like I always wear studs and sometimes little hoops, but mostly just studs. But I just thought they were like a fun way to interject some color and get the whole spring vibe going. Because even though it is still technically winter and I'm still obliging to my winter bucket list, see link down below, <laughs> plug, 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 I pretty much have the mindset of spring as soon as New Year's is over, you know? And those are very springy to me. Next at Target, this is rather boring, but I'm gonna show you anyway. It is the Method Dish Soap Refill in the Clementine Orange Scent. The reason I got this is because I actually have a really pretty, in my opinion, pretty jar of dish soap that I got from Marshalls a while ago. It's a big container, it has a pump, and it has a really pretty pattern, and it's like a sweet orange scented soap. It's almost out, and I really love the jar. And I could like go try to find another similar one or the same one at Marshalls. But I figured, why don't I just keep the same pretty jar and refill it? And then because it says sweet orange on it, I don't know, not to be weird, but I want it to still smell like orange. I want it to like match the bottle. Plus I like that orange smell. So that was the closest scent that I could get. And I figure it'll probably be cheaper that way to just refill it. I don't know, that was my thought. Also potentially slightly boring items, but this is like a weird fact about me. I love how Target will always come out with seasonal tissue boxes. <laughs> So it's not just me who's like onto this spring theme as you can see with those like Kate Spade boxes and those earrings and it's like spring 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 but this is one with like little what are those like little alpacas or something I don't know it's like little tissues and this one has spring flowers I know that light's kind of drowning that out but I just love to have tissue boxes around the house in the bathroom in the bedrooms etc and why not have them be festive and seasonal. This guy is kind of like a little golden-ish thing. It's a container and it's from the dollar spot. It was $3. It looks like that on the inside. And it was advertised to be like a candle holder. And my thought was to put these Ikea candles in there because the packaging on these Ikea candles is definitely their downfall. 
they're like plain and simple but they're also just kind of not cute and then they have this big old sticker which I don't like which yes you can peel it off but then you ruin your nails and it's like a whole process so when I saw this I was just like you know what that's like an easy way to make this a little bit prettier so yeah three bucks they also had it in like a pink color but I just thought this was more timeless and classic for the whole year these are these really cute bowls I got from the Threshold brand. It's a porcelain bowl and it has little black and then like metallic gold dots on it. I actually already have two of these and I love them. I wanted to get four, but at the time they only had two in stock. They had more in stock, so I picked up two more. They also have a gold rim around the top, if you can see that. These are perfect because we have really big, deep white bowls and I love having all plain white dishes however the big huge bowls I don't know it's just like a bit much for certain items that you may be trying to portion control or whatever these are still big in itself like as you can see but these are just a little bit more reasonable and if I'm making maybe like guac or I don't know I just wanted to have different options and these were so pretty and they still kind of fit into our all white dishes that they were perfect Oh yeah, another random item. Tone it up, I love the tone it up girls. Here they are, Karina and Katrina. Check them out if you haven't. They make their own protein and I'm not like some big protein girl. Like I've never really been one to drink protein shakes and stuff, but I do love making smoothies. And so I put this inside of there and I've also done different baking things with it. But this was a new flavor they launched and it's coconut. So at Target, they usually only carry vanilla and chocolate. I've bought the vanilla several times, it's great. But when they got coconut, I was all over it. So I'll let you know how that is. A fun fact about me, if you don't know, is that I love unicorns. I know unicorns are kind of trendy, but that's not really why I like them. It's just kind of my thing, I don't know. But I saw this little figurine, it's from Project 62, that brand, and it is so cute. Actually, let me take this off. It is this little brassy gold, like balloon animal unicorn. And quite frankly, I just couldn't leave it at the store. I just couldn't. And I think it was like $7, which is not that bad. And I love it. So I'm gonna find somewhere in my house to put this. Kind of diving more specifically into the Valentine's Day stuff. The Dollar Spot has really, really been killing the game lately, if you ask me. And so these are some items that I picked up. So I have developed a fairly recent obsession with tea towels, dish towels, always having seasonal ones, always changing them up, always having them look cute. I'm all about home decor, like I said. So anything that I can affordably and quickly like change up is a good thing. Do you know what I mean? You're not going to go out and buy a new couch every season, but you can go out and buy new tea towels every season and it feels fun and new and refreshed. So I liked both of these, so I got both of them. Um, this one, it says, love you with like little pom pommies on the bottom. And then it came with this little heart, what are these called? Pot holders. So I thought that was cute. And then this one came with two. One says XOXO. And then so does this, but with a different pattern. I thought I would put probably these two on the actual stove. This one I'll probably hang on my bar cart. And then this one, I have a little hanging thing for pot holders too. So we will be stocked for Valentine's tea towels. And I'll probably keep them up the whole month of February, let's be honest. Another home decor thing I like to switch out really often is I have a letter board. I actually have two of them. So it's so much fun to always change out like my saying. One time we had friends staying with us and I like put their names on the letter board. It's just so much fun to be able to change it to say whatever you want to say. So that's an easy way for me to change up the decor and like the season or whatever the holiday and then I have this really cute little shelf in our entryway where I keep that letter board and then I'll swap out different decor and so I thought this little sign it's pink square it has extremely glittery red stuff all over it which is getting all over me uh, it has the heart and then it has the edges but I thought that would be super cute propped up on that shelf for the month of February this was three dollars love it the next thing from the dollar section was this little duo of ramekins. It was $3. There is uh, like a medium sized one and then a smaller one. It is light pink and I wanted to put some little like gummies or Valentine's candies in these and kind of leave them out on the table when it is time. I think they had this set in white and red as well, but I thought light pink would be the best. I don't know why. And then apparently I was just like feeling like I was in a black hole of just, I don't know. So I got this. It's a banner. If you can see right there, it says Happy Heart Day, I think. Yeah. Happy Heart Day. It's like pink sparkles. This was also $3. You know, I'm just trying to like celebrate life. So <laughs> another huge thing that I'm into is my planner. I use the Erin Condren planner. I've talked about it on my channel a bunch, but with that means that I always have stickers 
in my planner kind of partially becoming almost a scrapbook of my life and like highlighting the different things that I've done throughout the week and also keeping me planned and organized you know it's a twofer but so anytime I see cute stickers I hop all over those so this cost a dollar and it's Valentine stickers one side is pink and gold one side is red and gold I just did that vice versa but you get my drift one side's pink one side is gold and it's just cute this was a dollar so how could I turn that down this one was more overpriced because it was like $2.50 and you only get this one sheet. But it's just so cute. It's like a bunch of little like celebrate, champagne, cheers. I don't know. I just, when I see cute stickers, I tend to hop on them. So another obsession that I've developed semi-recently is paper straws. And that's mostly just because they have so many fun decorative ones. And I do drink everything out of a straw. Like even at home, I drink water out of a straw. Uh, I know it's a bit extra. I just can't help it. So paper straws are something fun for me to switch out. And these were both in the dollar spots section. So this one is like super Valentine's-y. There's conversation hearts on it. And there's only 12 of them in here, but they're just super fun and cute. And then this one just has roses. So I thought, you know, we could use this into spring beyond Valentine's Day. Take some cute pictures of drinks with straws in them. And then there was this whole section. Apparently junk food is now sold at Target, which is like that really cute trendy t-shirt brand that I don't know I call it cute and trendy because that's how I remember it growing up but apparently they sell stuff at Target now and there was this whole line of like all you need is love like inspired by the Beatles and like lyric stuff like different shirts and items that had lyrics on them so I got swooped into that little location and the first thing here are these really cute it's a set of uh five ballpoint pens I don't know if you can see that and they say they're different lyrics to the the All You Need Is Love song by the Beatles. And so one says all you need is love, one says it's easy, one says love, 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 one has hearts, and one says love is all you need. And I just thought they were cute, and it says like the lyrics written by John Lennon and Paul McCartney, and I don't know, I just, I think this was like $5? But yeah. And I discovered the other night, while trying to play a board game at home, that we don't really have very many pens, so that's also an excuse to buy these. And the last items in this random home decor, Valentine's, etc. haul are these two candles. These are also part of that junk food, it says like the Lyric Couture line. And I couldn't choose, so I got both. These were $10 each. Um, the first one, it is a cedar, lime, and leather scented candle. Let me show you what it looks like. How cute is this? It's a light pink wax, and then it's a black jar, and it says, might as well face it, you're addicted to love. So it has lyrics on it. It does smell good. I mean, it's like a cedary, it's nothing mind blowing, but it smells good. And I, furthermore, I'm just obsessed with that packaging. Like, oh my gosh, I love it. And I love lyrics so much, just in general. I love lyrics. <laughs> so yeah, I love that it has lyrics on it. And I honestly could not get that lyric candle without getting this lyric candle, which more or less pays homage to my childhood, if I could get it out. So this one is lemon, ginger, and musk scented. And this one has white wax with a black jar and it says, I must confess, I still believe. And it's a baby one more time, Britney Spears lyric reference. And I just think these are like super trendy looking candles right now too. And for only 10 bucks, I couldn't pass them up. So that is everything in my home decor Valentine's Day random haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sure there will be more haul videos soon as there usually are. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and leave me any comments or questions you have down below and I'll see you next time. Love you. Bye. Today I'm going, oh, I can't, I'm like not in the zone right now.